A recent study found that two of three Americans will experience cognitive decline by age 70. Half of all U.S. adults die with a dementia diagnosis, and Alzheimer's disease is now the seventh leading cause of death, with rates increasing by up to 15% each year. And cognitive issues aren't limited to the elderly. In my 15 years of experience as a functional medicine clinician, I've treated hundreds of young and middle-aged patients that suffer from symptoms like brain fog, difficulty concentrating, poor memory, and decreased performance at work. The good news is that research shows that cognitive decline is primarily driven by diet and lifestyle factors that you have control over. In this Tuesday Tip video, I'm going to discuss one of the most important steps you can take to improve your cognitive function and protect your brain health, and that is feeding your brain the nutrients it needs to thrive. Ready? Let's get to it. Hey everyone, I'm Chris Kresser here with another Tuesday Tip video for you. If you're interested in free tips on how to optimize your health, improve your performance, and extend your lifespan, hit the subscribe button in the upper right corner to get notified when new videos are available. In this video, I'll tell you why nutrition is essential for brain health and cognitive performance, which nutrients are most important for the brain, and how to optimize your intake of those nutrients. The human body needs about 40 micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, and other compounds to function optimally. These nutrients are especially important for the brain since it's the control center for everything that happens in the body and it regulates everything from digestion to hormone production to cognition and mood. If you want to feed your brain well, the first step is to avoid the standard American diet. Research has consistently shown that highly processed and refined foods like sugar and flour reduce cognitive function and performance. For example, one study showed that a diet high in processed foods reduced synaptic plasticity and impaired learning and memory. Synaptic plasticity is a crucial process that supports cognitive function in numerous ways. On the other hand, Studies show that eating a nutrient-dense whole foods diet leads to better network efficiency, which is a measure of cognitive function. Now, beyond general diet patterns, we know that several micronutrients perform crucial functions in your brain. And sadly, many of us are deficient in not just one, but several of these nutrients. Thiamine, or vitamin B1, is a cofactor in brain glucose metabolism and affects energy availability in the brain. This is important because many brain scientists now refer to Alzheimer's as type 3 diabetes, and the brain consumes 20% of the body's total energy needs. While thiamine deficiency is associated with dementia, thiamine supplementation reverses cognitive dysfunction and brain pathology in Alzheimer's disease patients. Vitamin B6 helps to regulate the metabolism of homocysteine, an amino acid that increases the risk of cognitive decline, dementia, and Alzheimer's. B6 is also a precursor to multiple neurotransmitters, and it supports glucose metabolism in the brain, just like vitamin B1. Vitamin B12 regulates multiple processes involved in cognition, including homocysteine metabolism, neurogenesis, neurotransmission, and the production of the myelin sheath that insulates neurons. B12 deficiency causes nerve damage, memory loss, and a host of other cognitive problems. And sadly, again, B12 deficiency is extremely common. According to a study out of Tufts University, 40% of people between the ages of 26 and 83 have plasma B12 levels in the low normal range, a range at which many people will experience neurological and cognitive symptoms. And I can't tell you how often I've seen this as a clinician who's treated hundreds of patients over the past 15 years. 9% of people in this study had a glaring deficiency and 16% exhibited near deficiency. Perhaps most surprisingly though, low B12 levels were just as common in younger people as they were in the elderly. Folate, or B9, is another critical nutrient for the brain. It works synergistically with B12 to regulate homocysteine metabolism and methylation. Folate deficiency decreases DNA stability, interferes with the repair of brain cells, and causes atrophy of the hippocampus, a region of the brain involved in memory and learning. Folate is also needed for the synthesis and regeneration of BH4, 
a cofactor for enzymes that produce neurotransmitters. Choline is an essential but often overlooked nutrient required for healthy cognitive function. It's needed for the cellular integrity of neurons and glial cells, which help support and insulate the neurons. Choline deficiency damages the neurons in the brain and slows the transmission of messages between neurons, which leads to impaired cognitive function. Unfortunately, data from the NHANES cohort suggests that 92% of Americans don't get enough choline, and I've even seen studies suggesting that 100% of Americans don't get enough. The long-chain omega-3 fatty acid, DHA, makes up over 90% of the omega-3 fatty acids found in the brain. It modulates neurotransmitter release, neurogenesis, neuron myelination, membrane receptor function, synaptic plasticity, neuroinflammation, and gene expression in the brain. <laughs> that was a lot of fancy words, but suffice to say that DHA is critical for healthy brain function. In fact, it's so crucial for brain function that some researchers believe it was the primary factor responsible for the increase in brain size that occurred in our hominid ancestors two million years ago. So put another way, some scientists believe that DHA, DHA is part of what made us human in the first place. Finally, while most people think of vitamin D for its role in supporting bones and immune function, it's also critical for the brain. Low vitamin D is linked to poor cognition and dementia, whereas normal vitamin D levels promote healthy neurogenesis and cognitive function. Sadly, 94% of Americans don't get enough of this essential nutrient. Okay, so with all of this in mind, how do we optimize our nutrient intakes for brain health? Well, a whole foods nutrient dense diet should always be the foundation. I've written an in-depth article on nutrient density and how to maximize it in the diet, and I'll link to that in the description of this video. But here's the short version. A recent study calculated the nutrient density of common foods. This was a landmark paper because unlike previous studies on this topic, it considered how bioavailable or easy to digest and absorb each food was. So here's a screenshot of the key figure from the study, which ranks each category of foods according to their nutrient density. And as you can see, organ meats comprise five of the top eight foods on the list. They are the nutrient powerhouses, and it's really not even close. Just look how much more nutrient dense they are than other foods that are further down on the list. And then small dried fish, shellfish, and dark leafy greens are the other three in the top eight. From there, we have beef, eggs, milk, vitamin A rich fruits and vegetables, fish, cheese, other vegetables, and yogurt. Now, it's important to note that this study only considered essential vitamins and minerals like iron, zinc, B12, folate, and calcium. It did not consider phytonutrients like flavonoids, lignans, beta-glucans, etc., which we know from numerous studies are also important. So a nutrient-dense diet is absolutely the starting place. But sadly, thanks to growing challenges in the modern world, most of us are no longer able to meet our nutrient needs from food alone. These challenges include a shift in diet patterns toward highly processed and refined foods, which are high in calories but virtually devoid of nutrients, changes in soil quality, which have reduced nutrient availability in food. For example, we'd have to eat eight oranges today to get the same nutrition that our grandparents got from eating a single orange. An increase in toxins like heavy metals and glyphosate in the food supply. These toxins bind to nutrients and decrease their bioavailability a shift to a global industrialized food system rather than a local organic food system, which reduces the level of nutrients in food, and the growing prevalence of chronic disease, which both increases the demand of nutrients and decreases their absorption. This is where smart supplementation can play a role, and it's why I've created the Adapt Naturals Core Plus Bundle. It's a daily stack of five products designed to give you everything you need each day for optimal brain health, from essential vitamins and minerals like B12, folate, magnesium, and vitamin D, to phytonutrients like bioflavonoids, carotenoids, and beta-glucans. Just click the Adopt Naturals link below or in the description section of this video to learn more. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the subscribe button in the top right so you'll be updated when I release new content. 
And if you know someone that might benefit from this, please share it with them. I want to help as many people as I can take charge of their own health. And mastering nutrient intake and supporting and protecting the brain is a powerful way to do that. Just click the share button right under the video. Okay, that's it for now. See you next Tuesday.